got in the shower, and my brain went into overthinking overdrive. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Sassy? Yeah, doing good. How are we, Riddler? How are we, Emerald? Which, update, I need to tell you guys, this was the toy that we got him. It was destroyed this morning. It had a giant squeaker, and it's gone. But you two are going on a special trip today, aren't you? So, a while back, my mom and I plan on taking the boys to the park for a walk. And she's like, you know, I need to run today. And I'm like, well, you want to take the dogs on a walk? So we're getting ready to go and take Riddler and Emerald on a walk. Which should be interesting. I'm going to try to work on heel training with Emerald. And probably work on it with Riddler too. Um, maybe let Emerald explore some first because he's never been to this part before. Um, Riddler has. And... Mom and I plan on swapping out dogs whenever we're going because since she'll be running, Riddler tends to pull more because he doesn't know how to heal yet. And he is a lot stronger than Emerald. Emerald, you can at least bring him back. So, yeah. Pretty excited about that. Are you guys excited? You're going to the park. You're going to the park, buddy. Are you excited? He's more excited than he looks. Are you excited, Emerald? You're going to a brand new place. <gasps> hey, sweet boy. Let me see your toy real quick. So we bought this toy. This has stuffing in it. There's a rope. This had a squeaker in it. And there's where the murder happened. It happened this morning. And it is gone. But Emerald freaking loves that toy. But none of the other toys would have lasted because they were nothing but plush and a tiny squeaker. So now I'm gonna get dressed, probably try to get yesterday's vlogs done as quick as I can, and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! So there's Emerald, there's Sassy Girl, and there's Riddler. And it is like 7.30. Long since the walk has happened. So that was a good time. Um, the dogs were pulling a lot on both me and mom. Emerald did better about calming down and not pulling as much. I put the halty on him. That was chaotic. Note to self, I may just have to save the halty for training rather than for walking because he wasn't too thrilled. Um, Riddler, of course, pulled a lot. Um, I've realized I used to train him a lot and I did leash training with him for a long time. And since I have Emerald, I've been focusing more on Emerald, obviously, because he's my service dog. And I have been neglecting poor Riddler and his training. So somebody who's walking away needs to work on his leash training, doesn't he? Yeah? We need to work on heel. We need to work on your heel, too. Your heel was okay. Yeah, I know, Sassy. We need to work on his heel. Sassy stayed at home, which she was very happy with. She got some peace and quiet from the boys. And then let's see, we got home. I napped because I wasn't really feeling good. I was feeling exhausted. And then got some food, napped some more. Finally got the energy to go downstairs and do laundry, which is what's going on right now. And now my brother has called that... Um, a church group is heading to Papa's Pizza, which is this really good pizza place. So I'm about to meet them over there. I've got me some pants on. Woo! I say that because I was still wearing the shorts from today. So I also need to update Emerald's training log when I get home. Have I showed you guys what the notebook looks like for that? I love this thing so much. Kicking tasks and taking notes. I love it. I got this from Walmart. Um, whenever the beginning of school season started, um, I didn't have any use for it for a long time. I just got it because I loved how it looked, but now I use it as MRL's training log. 
which works out well for us. I need to finish up from when I did halty training and some other training the other day. And then add up the hours and go from there. So now I'm going to go and get me some dinner and get me some caffeination. Woohoo! Oh, and I do want to go ahead and point out. Because I remember this from a comment I got a long time ago. There was somebody who, besides giving really rude comments about how I train my dog and how MRL reacts, this person claimed that MRL acted neurotic, which, look at this dog. Is that a neurotic dog? Riddler. Now, Riddler acts neurotic sometimes, but not this one. Anyway, this same person also judged me for having a panic disorder and drinking caffeine. And I'm just like, you know, just leave me alone. Like, soda's the only caffeine I ever drink. I hate coffee. I don't like tea. There's a lot of caffeinated things I don't like. I hate energy drinks. Basically, Coke and Pepsi is the only caffeine I will drink. And yes, yeah, sometimes it screws up my anxiety. It doesn't always do it. But you know what? Quit judging people. That's rude. So, just wanted to point that out because it's been on my mind for a little bit. Now, off to get pizza and caffeination. Hey guys! So there's my sleepy boys. I'm gonna have to kick this one off in just a second, long enough for me to get under this quilt because he stole it. Rude. Rude! And don't worry people, I'm not gripping him tightly. And this isn't hurting him. It just is probably annoying him. He's pretty easy to annoy anyway. And there's my little angel. Hi. He doesn't even care. So, <clears throat> Tyler and I got home from eating pizza. That was wonderful. <clears throat> got in the shower and my brain went into overthinking overdrive about <clears throat> three different things. About a scenario that will never, ever, ever happen. Because, you know, your brain likes to do that. Like, pick a scenario that you know won't happen and it's just like, let's overthink about it. No. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, it was also overthinking about one of my friends back in college is having a problem with a presentation that she has to do for a class that I had been in and is asking me for help and I was trying to figure out the best ways to help her because I thought I had the presentation, my presentation in my computer and I don't. So I was like, ah, overthinking that. And just going through my mind of how to explain this. And then I was worrying about, oh, is my laundry going to finish drying before I go to bed? Maybe I shouldn't take my sleep meds right away. Well, I finally got my brain to quit thinking of the made-up scenario. Excuse you. Are you boofing? MRL? Uh-uh. I know, you hear people downstairs. Really, guys? No. Are you really barking at people downstairs? That's not how that works, dude. It's not. Dat pupper butt, though. He hates when I mess with his nub. Hi. But anyway, um, I got the weird scenario to get out of my head by overthinking about how to help my friend with her project. And then once I got out of the shower, I was able to start the conversation with my friend about the project. And that's going pretty good right now. My laundry was done, so yay. And I already got clothes set up for tomorrow and the rest of the clothes I'll get put up at some point. And of course I already took my meds, so I'm just waiting for the meds to kick in. And in the meantime, I am watching videos on YouTube of Gotcha the Cockatoo, which is so funny. I love Gotcha so much. Um... It makes me wish that the cockatoo we had at the zoo was as nice. Well, maybe not necessarily nice, but like, was like gotcha. But, you know, not all birds can be the same. Peaches, her best thing is screaming like a fire alarm. She sounds like a fire alarm. And it's very high pitched. It hurts. And I don't understand how guests can stand standing beside her cage while she's screeching. It is so painful and uncomfortable. But that's peachy. Um, but yeah. 
now I'm going to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, what is some of the weirdest made-up scenarios that you've overthought about? A lot of mine are made-up scenarios of what if something like physically harmed me or a family member and how to go all about that. that I don't know why that bothers me a lot, but it does. Let's put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Sassy. Good night, Emeril. Good night, Riddler the Bed Stealer.